Serving members of the Defence Forces were joined by retired members for the commemoration ceremony in Carl Brewer Barracks in Dublin, a place his relatives hold dear. There's huge loyalty to Collins uh, in this barracks, mainly because he regarded it as home and, uh, and it was a refuge. And, and of course he left uh, this barracks called Brew Barracks now uh, up for that awful journey. The commemoration was held beside a car from the convoy Michael Collins was in when ambushed 100 years ago today. General Emmett Dalton had been with him. His daughter attended the ceremony. He told us the story of holding the dying Michael Collins on his lap uh, and the confusion, of course, and the running around the madness at the scene after this happened and carrying him uh, and driving for somewhere somewhere where he could receive the last rites and, and also be taken care of. Uh, there was no question that, you know, he was, he was dead right, right away. This is the death mask of General Michael Collins. His death mask, one of the many items in the Barracks Museum. Some of the stuff that we have here is very important. We have his pistol, which is a Colt 45. We have a button off his uniform. We have a medal that he won in London before 1916 when he worked for the post office. A wreath was laid by Michael Collins's great-grandnephew Angus O'Malley before a minute's silence and the national anthem. Diane Connor, RTE News.